Hi friends, welcome to our channel Knox Way to Aptitude. In the previous two videos, I have explained you some important problems in the topic ratio and proportion. And today in this video, lesson number three, let's see some important problems. Now let's go to the first problem. Two numbers are in the ratio of 5 is to 8. If 24 is subtracted from each number, the ratio will become 2 is to 5. Find the numbers. Here, friends, what is the ratio of the numbers 5 is to 8? And from each number, 24 should be subtracted. Therefore, let the numbers be 5x and 8x. And if you subtract 24 from these numbers, like 5x minus 24 and 8x minus 24, the ratio of these two terms, according to the question, the ratio of these two terms is 2 is to 5. Therefore, 5x minus 24 is to 8x minus 24 is equal to 2 is to 5. And this 5x minus 24 is to 8x minus 24 is equal to 2 is to 5. This one and this one are extremes and these two are means. And as I have already told you in lesson number 1, the product of extremes is always equal to the product of means. So the product of extremes and the product of means are equal. Therefore, you multiply 5 and 5x minus 24. 5 into 5x minus 24 is equal to the product of means 2 into 8x minus 24. Then 5 5s are 25 x minus 5 24s are 120 is equal to 2 8s are 16 x minus 2 24s are 48. Now you bring the similar terms to one side then this 16x will become minus 16x 25x minus 16x is equal to minus 120 will become plus 120 after coming this side so 120 minus 48 that is equal to 25x minus 16x is 9x is equal to 120 minus 48 is 72 therefore x is equal to 72 this 9 comes here and 72 by 9, 9 takes 72, 8 times. So the value of x is 8. Now we need to find the numbers. What are the numbers? 5x and 8x. So 5x is equal to 5 into what is the value of x? 8. Therefore 5 8s are 40. Now what is another number? 8x. 8x is equal to 8 into what is the value of x? 8. So, 8 8s are 64. So, the numbers are 40 and 64. So, the answer is 40 and 64. But see friend, this is very lengthy method. In competitive examinations, we should not follow this method because this is completely waste of time. So, now I will explain you one shortcut method. You can use it very easily. Now, you take the original ratio of the numbers 5 is to 8. And 24 should be subtracted from each number. So you write 24 here. And after subtraction of 24 from original numbers, the ratio is 2 is to 5. So you write 2 is to 5 here. So from these two original numbers, you subtract 24. After subtraction, the ratio is 2 is to 5. Okay, got it? So after writing like this, you take 24 into what is the difference between the terms of this ratio? The difference between 2 and 5 is 3. You write this 3 here. By Now you cross multiply these two terms and these two terms. So 8 2's, 8 2's are 16 and 5 5's are 25. And you take the difference of 16 and 25. What is the difference? 24 into 3 by the difference of 16 and 25 is 9. So 3 takes 9 3 times and this 3 takes 24 8 times. So finally we got 8. Now you multiply these two terms 
with this 8 then you will get the answer so 8 into 5 8 5s are 40 and 8 into 8 8 eights are 64 so the numbers are 40 and 64 now let's take another problem two numbers are in the ratio of 4 is to 5 if 12 is added to each number the ratio will become 16 is to 19 find the numbers okay friends just like in the previous problem let's approach by using this shortcut method so what should we do first you take the original ratio what is the ratio of the numbers 4 is to 5 from uh, to each number 12 should be added so you take this 12 after adding this 12 to original numbers what will be the ratio of the new number 16 is to 19 now you take this 12 here 12 into what is the difference between these two terms the difference between 16 and 19 is 3 by now you do cross multiplication 16 into 5 and 4 into 19 so 5 into 16 5 16 are 80 and 4 into 19 4 19 are uh, 76 the difference between 80 and 76 will be 12 into 3 by the difference is 4 now 4 takes 12 3 times and 3 3 is 9 now you just multiply with this 9 with this term and this term 9 4 9 4 is 36 and 9 5 is 45 therefore the numbers are 36 and 45 Ok friends, that's all for this lesson. If you feel this video is useful to you, please like it and share with your friends so that they can also learn. And if you have any doubts on this lesson, please ask me in comment section, I will reply you. And to get many more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel, Nog's Way to Aptitude. Thank you very much.